Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Young and the Restless suggest that Chance Chancellor might recognize some fresh warning indicators and intervene during Chancellor Winter's most recent dilemma. Fans of Y and R are aware of the recent turbulence at the company, but Chance has been contributing to its reduction. Chance's desire to mediate disputes is evident, which is fortunate because Chancellor Winters could use her skills in this regard at the moment. The conflict between Devin Hamilton Winters and Billy Abbott may intensify in the upcoming episodes, so it makes sense to have a peacemaker like Chance in the mix. Devin's lack of trust has caused Jill Abbott to worry that Billy's ideas would be ignored, especially because it has created a pressure cooker in the office that could explode at any time. For this reason, Jill dispatched Amanda Sinclair to advocate for the Abbott Chancellor Winter's rebranding and address the hazardous workplace. But thus far, Amanda is really just stirring things up. Since it seems that Amanda might be making things worse, Chance might be the one to assist all sides in the negotiation process. Because of his background in police enforcement, Chance offers a special set of skills to the table. Chance could be able to maintain composure when things start to go out of hand because he has experience handling hostage crises and other dangerous scenarios that called for negotiation. The impending board vote has caused Abby Newman Abbott anxiety particularly because her seat isn't officially confirmed yet. Following her altercation with Amanda at Society, Abby appeared worried that her aspirations for her new employment would be dashed. According to Y and R previews, Abby will continue to be concerned that if vindictive Amanda takes things personal, this board vote could end badly. Abby might not get that board position after all, but perhaps Chance will step in and support his ex-wife in the most dire circumstances. It's simple to picture Chance giving a major speech in which he explains the importance of cooperation to everyone, even Abby. Chance and Abby may have some intimate moments if Chance plays the part of the hero and helps Abby win this board seat in the end. Summer Newman has been encouraging Chance's corporate career, but if Chance says Abby in her line of work, she might need to reconsider. That might cause Summer to notice that Abby and Chance are much too close for her comfort. More problems could arise if Summer becomes envious and begins to see Abby as a danger to her romance. According to rumors on the young and the restless, Chance and Abby may have opportunity to reunite at work. Stay in for updates on any stories that could irritate Summer. Young and the restless spoilers for Monday, February 26 show that Billy Abbott and Divin Hamilton Winters will argue about a possible transaction while Esther Valentine listens in on the office. Billy will agree to at least attend the meeting Divin is trying to convince him to after Esther interrupts to advocate for peace. Chance Chancellor will then be brought in by Nate Hastings, seen Dominic, on Monday's I and R episode, so he can pitch his music festival. Billy will put the brakes on the plan and act as though it needs work, but Devin will feel that the time is appropriate and be prepared to proceed with it straight away. Billy's response may disappoint and confound Chance a little, but Nate will act as though Billy is attempting to establish his mentorship. Additionally, Chance plans to meet with Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, to talk about how Billy wasn't excited about his pitch, but Devin and Nate were. Chance will get the impression that Billy's answer was more motivated by his need to oppose Devin and his disagreement with him. Tucker McCall, meanwhile, will call Audra Charles a neurotic person and become irate when she makes him swear he didn't communicate with Ashley Abbott in private. Tucker is about to storm away, but Audra will talk him out of it, explaining that she's just worried about him because their relationship is going so well. Tucker will reassure Audra that their relationship is stable, but she won't comprehend the change and will likely see Ashley as a threat. Audra will believe Tucker met with her after he claims Ashley recognized he was correct about Paris 
and she will demand honesty. Tucker will admit the truth now that she is aware of it regarding Ashley's visit to his room to apologize. Tucker will reassure Audra, though, that Ashley destroyed their relationship irreparably. Tucker will propose that Audra bring it since he still believes Ashley will stop at nothing to win Tucker back. Before they finally hit the covers, Tucker will make their Paris travel plans in order to placate Audra while they are in his suite. Tucker will go to sleep, and Audra will get ready and slip away. Tressie Abbott will brief Jack Abbott at the Abbott Mansion about Ashley's sudden change of heart since she told Tucker she was mistaken about Paris. When Tracy says she thought Ashley might forgive Tucker and give it another go, Jack will become worried. Ashley will act as like she has everything under control when she shows up. Ashley won't explicitly say that a reconciliation with Tucker is unlikely, but she will imply that doing so would mean facing the Abbott family's wrath. Ashley will welcome Billy inside before heading out of the house. Jack and Tracy will then have an opportunity to express their concerns about Ashley and Tucker getting back together, but Billy will assume that they should put their trust in Ashley and back off. Ashley will be informed by Tessa Porter at Society that she is now the manager. Ashley will be informed by Abby Newman Abbott of her intention to hire Tessa due to her own appointment to the Chancellor Winter's Board of Directors. Ashley would eventually share her realization about the altercation with Tucker with Devin and Abby as well. Ashley will acknowledge that she imagined the encounter to be more hostile than it actually was after summarizing her research at the bistro. If Ashley is concerned that Devin pushed Tucker away because of her fabricated account of events, she will get him to think again. Ashley will hope that Devin gives everything she's told him some thought, but he will act as though this is greater than just him because he's protecting his family. Abby and Devin will discuss Ashley's change of heart after she leaves. Abby will acknowledge that it won't be so simple for her to forgive and move on if Devin does decide to open up to Tucker once more. Maria Copeland, who works nearby, will make fun of Tessa's demands after she poses as an annoying customer and makes jokes about how her wife is now the manager. Ashley will hear the doorbell when she gets back to the Abbott estate and see Audra waiting for her. Since Audra will maintain that Ashley was given a chance to speak, she will feel obligated to clarify a few points. Stay tuned for further updates on Ashley and Audra's rivalry as the young and the restless spoilers indicate that they will be facing off in a big way soon. According to Young and the Restless, Joshua Morrow is preparing a big real estate deal. According to TMZ, Morrow's gorgeous Westlake Village mansion is up for sale, that is, if you can afford the $5,250,000 asking price. Thanks to Morrow's multi-million dollar listing, someone has the chance to buy a 5,900-square-foot mansion on 1.21 acres in the North Ranch Country Club Estates. It makes natural that Morrow's most recent property would draw a lot of interest, considering that it boasts six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a cinema room, a pool, a separate pool house, and more. It makes sense that Y and R viewers would be interested in learning how Joshua Morrow's real estate transaction would affect his future on the show. When an entertainer does this kind of listing for sale, it may also lead to inquiries regarding possible career and relocation adjustments. This is actually rather standard for Morrow, though, as he regularly makes real estate investments and puts them up for sale every few years. Stated differently, there's no sign that Joshua Morrow is going to leave Y and R anytime soon. The good news is that maybe this won't mean anything for Nick Newman which is fantastic news for those hoping he would return for additional stories. Many fans are hoping that Nick and Sharon Newman will get back together soon. Some people would rather see Nick on canvas alongside a different lovely woman, like Lily Winters, as their new love interest. Seeing how long Nick stays on at Newman Enterprises will be interesting to observe. Nick often leaves the family business particularly when hostilities with Adam Newman resurface. Thus, he may eventually go in a different direction professionally. 
Either way, Nick is an important part of Geno City, and in the months to come, we'll update you on his ambitions. The young and the restless teases suggest that Nick might be in for some surprises in the months to come. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.